In Home Society, we believe that talking, discussing and exploring ideas together is essential to the design process. Our goal is to create a platform with a new vision of micro and macro trends within this industry, generating added value for the design lover community. Design talks includes then interviews with leading architects, designers and showrooms to discover and discuss about what's trending and the whole creative process behind any project. I am Susana Ramos, and I'm honored to have today as our guest of Home Society Design Talks, Barbara Martinuzzi of Martinuzzi Interiors, one of the key players of uh, Swiss uh, design scene. Hello, Barbara. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for inviting me to this interview. It's a pleasure to have you on Design Talks. Um, so starting with the interview, according to your website, you have over 15 years of expertise in the interior design world. You have also gained incredible recognition from having articles published all over the world, including in the renowned magazine uh, Dolce Vita and Prestige Switzerland. Um, what inspired you to pursue this line of work? Oh, well, uh, I would say that uh, interior design was always in my DNA since I was a child. Uh, mm -hmm. I started to uh, think how to change uh, spaces around me. So it was always inside uh, my, my heart. It was like a passion that um, developed with the years more and more at the point that became my profession. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you also uh, have been awarded uh, several awards, such as the Best Interior Design um, Private Residence in Switzerland. Um, how has your experience been uh, as such a powerful businesswoman and uh, as an icon for all the female designers in the industry? Oh, well, thank you for this compliment, which I think I didn't achieve yet. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, to be a model for other designer or seen as an icon. I'm, as I said, I'm not there yet, but of course I put all my effort to, to give the best results always um, and to be an inspiration also for other female interior designer. That's mm -hmm. what is um, in, in my nature is to give the best of yourself uh, and I'm happy that this can be taken as an example. Mm -hmm. And considering considering our situation and the incredibly arduous year uh, that we had due to the world pandemic, how do you believe your work has been affected uh, by these hardships? Oh well, I I think that this pandemic time uh, um, made people in general think more, concentrate more on the well-being of their environment, where they live and where they work. So since then, uh, uh, there was a tremendous increase in the request of uh, uh, entire design services. People more and more uh, want to have environment where they feel uh, good. It's not just a question of aesthetic, it's a question of uh, quality of life and uh, this feeling of well-being that we all uh, mm -hmm. now prioritize. And Martinuzzi interiors projects range from commercial to residential. What um, usually inspires you and excites you about taking these versatile projects? Every project is a new challenge, so a new excitement. Uh, uh, I would say that commercial projects uh, are even uh, more challenging because instead of one single person, we have to think more globally. We have to think mm -hmm. more on a bigger public. So the challenges are, are bigger and excitement is bigger, therefore. Mm -hmm. And regarding the services that um, uh, this studio has to offer. And uh, not only do you conceptualize designs, but you also do furniture customization. Uh, is that area of interior design particularly uh, interesting for you? And how would you consider expanding your product repertoire in this product design area? Yes, we have more and more um, the need to custom made um, certain pieces to to fit them in in the interiors and we started to have a little production of mm -hmm. our items 
Um, even though we have not the time now to develop that area because we have so many projects going on that uh, there is not the material time to think about it. But maybe in the future we will create a small line of Martinus Imperius product. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, your work has also found incredibly prestige from your attention to detail and uh, luminous uh, spaces. Um, you value aesthetics, quality and functionality, but most of all, what truly matters to your projects is that it adds uh, an ethical and sensorial experience. Exactly. Uh, what has been your favorite uh, project so far? We started to design the first hotel ever. Uh, mm -hmm. it's Smart Hotel um, here in Switzerland, and that is at the moment one of my favorite projects because uh, uh, we have the opportunity to to create something um, that is something new. It's a, a philosophy that combines the well-being, staying in in a hotel for a short time or long time, combined with the the technologies, Smart Hotel, so with the, all. Uh, contemporary technology and has a is another flirt to, mm -hmm. to design something like that is challenging and it's something completely new to the usual uh, project we do mm -hmm. and uh, most if not not all of your projects are included mostly in switzerland and in its market uh, how would you say clients uh, expectations are in switzerland in comparison to the rest of the world and what truly characterizes Swiss style and design style and functionality? Well, I, I cannot really uh, compare Switzerland to the other country because uh, we still didn't work internationally. But uh, um, the advantage to work in Switzerland is that we have an international community. Mm -hmm. So not only Swiss uh, people are our client, but international. And uh, the first priority here, I think, uh, is the quality uh, of the product and of the service. Uh, the aesthetic, of course, plays a role, but this is very uh, individual. Uh, but I think, yes, uh, there is also a new kind of um, philosophy about uh, luxury homes, uh, luxury design, which is uh, not the manifestation on an opulent uh, mm -hmm. design that reflect uh, wealth, but it's more like a timeless uh, design that uh, uh, gives this, this feeling of well-being and it's more mm -hmm. like an understated elegance mm -hmm. that uh, we prefer to, to have in, in our environment. Mm -hmm. Very much focus on quality of products and uh, durability as well. Exactly, exactly. How would you say that uh, recently there was um, uh, there was been a shift in uh, interest uh, regarding your clients' past taste in interior designing? Any particular trend that has been highly requested uh, the past couple of years? I think it's exactly what I said before. It's not the, the, the research of uh, two opulence uh, or mm -hmm. um, it's more like um, a feeling of well-being through a minimalistic design maybe with accent uh, of some special pieces uh, accent of colors but uh, the trend that today is more focusing on the overall well-being feeling uh, in our environment completely fulfilled feel uh, comfortable and uh, it's more uh, it's more about this it's not about trend mm -hmm. in a way uh, i believe more in a timeless uh, design in that sense mm -hmm. and on the same line of thought is there any particular trend that you enjoy partaking in personally the focus is on health more mm -hmm. and more even after this uh, pandemic time, um, the health focus uh, bring me back to this uh, approach to design that is living in style and harmony. So it's a mix of, uh, of two important elements, the harmony that we, I research, I, I, I focus on in each project, 
that I believe is the base of well-being of the human being and the style because uh, the style uh, is very personal so as every single client has his own style this should be reflected at best in their mm -hmm. home or in their environment mm -hmm. and what can you we expect from martinezzi interiors in the near future are there any projects that you wish to be highlighted the hotel that we are designing now is one of them, and then there will be um, a spa center next to it, and that's something I'm looking forward to because it's also a new challenge, a new design approach, and um, it's going to be a big project that we are looking mm -hmm. forward to, to start. Mm -hmm. And um, which products from our brands would you say that complement your visual style? Oh, they are all very beautiful. I'm really impressed uh, from all the different uh, products you have. I would say that Brabu uh, reflect more our uh, design philosophy. Mm -hmm. I love the different texture, the character in the pieces. Those are the pieces that I like to put as a eye catch in a project. Um, mm -hmm. And Brabu definitely follow my design uh, design uh, approach, design ideas, mm -hmm. or reflect that. Yes. <laughs> and just to conclude our interview, what is the best advice that you could give to any designer? The best advice, um, first of all, believe in yourself because that uh, allows you to um, get confidence and trust from the client mm -hmm. and uh, second listen to the client because the secret is to get to know most possible details about uh, its person his personality and uh, I would say third never stop never stop learning uh, mm -hmm. and and get inspired from uh, from other nature because that's the perfection there's nothing more perfect than perfect than that and I believe that uh, it's, uh, it's a huge uh, opportunity that we have to get more inspiration from nature. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So thank you very much, Barbara, for this wonderful interview. It was a pleasure, as I said, to have you on Design Talks. For me and uh, we can't uh, wait to hear more about your projects, that beautiful hotel that you are designing, the spa and uh, it would be a pleasure to share it on our platforms as well. From my side as well, and I wish you great success uh, and uh, great uh, passion going moving forward for mm -hmm. new, new project. Okay, thank, thank you. you.